Now we'll talk about division. And we'll start off with a simple example. Let's suppose we have four people. And here they are. And we're going to divide up some marbles between these four people. And suppose we have 24 marbles. And we want to divide them up evenly. And we'll do this the same way we might uh, deal cards. You give one to one person, then one to another, and then one to another, and so on. And that makes sure the cards are divided as evenly as possible. We can do the same thing here. I'll just draw the marbles as little balls. We'll give one to this person, and then one to this one, and one to this one, and so on. That's four. And we'll do it again. Now each person has two. And we keep going until we've distributed all 24 marbles. And when we do this, you can probably see that each person ends up with exactly six marbles. They divide evenly in this case. But we took 24 marbles, we divided them among four people, and each person got six. So we say that 24 divided by four is six. And the notation, the way we write it, is this. We say 24 divided by 4 equals 6. We can also say it like this. 24 over 4, write it as a fraction, equals 6. The fraction bar means division. 24 over 4 is the same thing as 24 divided by 4. And we can also write it like this. 24 divided by 4, and when we work it out, we get a 6. And this notation for division is common when you're working out a long division problem. You should understand all of those notations. Those three different ways of writing it are all mathematically equivalent. They all mean the exact same thing. Earlier, we said that multiplication can be thought of as repeated addition. In the same way, division can be thought of as repeated subtraction. Think about the example we did earlier with 24 marbles, and we're dividing them up among four people. If we start with 24 marbles, and we give each person a marble, each of four people, we're giving away four marbles, so we have 20 left, because 24 minus 4 is 20. So after we give one to each person, we have 20 left. And then we did that again. We took our, our 20 remaining marbles, and we gave one to each person. There's four people, so we're giving away four more marbles again, and we have 16 left after that. Then from the 16, we give four more marbles away, and we have 12 left. Then from the 12, we give out four more marbles, one to each person, and we have eight left. And we take the eight, we give out one marble to each person, and we have four left. And then those last four marbles, when we give one to each person, we have none left. So you see that we can subtract 4 here a total of 6 times. And that's what this means. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. In the above example here, 24 is called the dividend. And 4 is the divisor. So think of the dividend as the number that is getting divided, and the divisor is how many pieces it's getting divided into. And then the result, the result of a division problem is called the quotient. Q-U-O-T-I-E-N-T, -E quotient. And those are mathematical terms that you should know. The dividend, the divisor, and the quotient. If you, have, if you write your division problem as a fraction, 24 divided by 4, or 24 over 4, equals 6. The dividend is up top, and the divisor is on the bottom, and the quotient is your answer.